Hey guys, my name is Ismos, and this is a quick German Tree Nodes tutorial. And what we're going to be doing is a countdown at two boom. So, uh, it's self explanatory you count down to zero, and then boom, you get uh, whatever text you want to put in here. I can say zoom, zoom after the countdown, and uh, that should be it. Uh, so, zero, and then zoom, or I can count down to say 20 and uh, 20 19 16 15 boom 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 then zoom yeah so let's ha see how to do this and uh, i'm using the new geometry nodes uh, of blender 3 uh, and uh, if you don't have some of the nodes that i'm using here that means that uh, maybe you need to download the latest version of the daily builds or the latest version of uh, blender 3. so let's get started i'm just going to reset the entire setup I uh, go to geometry nodes here and I'm going to add a plane here. This is going to be a placeholder for the geometry group and then now we can add a new nodes. I don't need this input. Uh, so the first thing we're going to need is a string. So I can go under uh, text, a string to curves and uh, this will allow me to type in things like uh, boom and uh, fit that into the output and then I can get a boom and uh, since this is a uh, now a curve I can add I can use the curves attributes and uh, curve I uh, fill this in to have it feel like that but what we want to have is a countdown going down so for that I'm just going to split this and uh, have a timeline uh, because we want to use the uh, the frame the current frame as a driver of the animation uh, so for that I just need to go under input and bring in the value under uh, here to access the frame uh, the frame the current frame i just have to type in frame hash frame and that will give me uh, the current frame uh, uh the current frame of the timeline if you try feeding this directly into the string uh, you get an error because uh, this is uh, an integer or a float and uh, is you're trying to connect it into a string which is going to give you an error uh, to convert this to a string all you have to do is hit l3 and search for string a uh, value uh, to string and that will convert the value you have here into a string so if i connect this to the string you see we get uh the current frame indicated there but uh, it's just counting up or showing us the current frame maybe that's what you want but uh, what we want to, uh, to have is a countdown uh, uh to zero from whatever value we, ha we have so to do this we are going to need another value input here and I, for this we can type in the value we want so something like uh, 10 uh, let's say let's assume that we want the countdown to start from 10 and what we have to do now is just divide or subtract add a math node math node uh, subtract uh, the current frame from uh, from the value uh, we need to make sure that this is a neg uh, subtract and you can see now we are going from uh, 10 and then down like that now this is going very fast because it's subtracting the current value of the frame are from this value and now we don't even need this value anymore we can just use the value here directly and uh, if you use uh, the group uh, input you can connect this value uh, to be accessible directly here and uh, you can name it by hitting n and access the other uh, group uh, properties here so i can just rename this to count so that's going to be the countdown value and uh, so whatever value we put in here so let's try 50 you can see we start from 50 and then count down after that. So if if the value is going too fast, you, all you have to do is divide this value here at uh, the frame rate, or oh, sorry, the current frame by, and uh, this uh, the, the speed of the animation is going also going to depend on the current frame rate. Uh, so you see, you see we are using uh, 25 frames. Uh, if we change this to 60, then the animation will also change and become even much faster. At, uh, let's go back to 25. And uh, if you want to make this uh, slower, we can use another math node. I'm just going to borrow this. And at this time, we're going to divide our whatever value here. We have by a different value uh, to try and slow uh, this down a bit. You can see now, let's say uh, divide this by five. You can see it's going much slower as we want. Now, the other thing we want is that to make, after the countdown is complete, let's try a very small uh, countdown, say something like 10. And uh, we don't want it to go to negative. We want it to end at zero and then just give us a different text. Uh, for that, what we have to do is, uh, let me first expand here. I uh, will just bring here at uh, the boom. Uh, what we want it to show is uh, we want it, we want it to show at uh, the boom or whatever word we want to show after the countdown. For this, we need a switch node to evaluate whether one condition is true. And if that condition is true, we can show a different thing. So for that, let's go under utilities switch. And you can see it takes into 
uh, different uh, geometries and uh, you can see we have false and uh, true so when the switch statement is true it will show uh, the input in the true attribute and uh, show false when this uh, condition is false so let's get uh, we have curve one and uh, we have curve two so let me fill this into uh, true and this into false now if you connect this the switch into the geometry I will, you can switch between uh, the two and uh, you can see as long as this switch is true we'll show true we show the boom a uh, value but uh, our boom doesn't have a field value so i'm just going to duplicate this and have it here so that uh, we can see that maybe let me also make this capital letters to say boom boom like that yeah so that's what we have and now uh, you can even add a solidify modifier uh, to this just for thickness we don't have a solidify modifier just yet uh, for blender let me also make this a little bit more beautiful by adding a cavity to it so that it looks uh, much better like that let's go back to here we don't want to just animate this we want geometry node to evaluate this automatically for us we have uh, this uh, value here which is what is being converted finally to a string but uh, it's still a value if this value is less than zero uh, meaning it has entered the negative value we want the switch statement to turn or to turn to true so that we can render this uh, boom effect so now for that we just have to get another math node and a utilities math and uh, get the less than sign and uh, as long as the value here uh, which is basically right now is six if it's less than uh, let's say zero then we get a switch statement so let's see that 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 boom like so so that was easy much much easier than i could ever think of because uh if you have used blender before geometry nodes this doing something like this was really really difficult but uh, the fact that uh, we can do it in just a few seconds one thing you might notice is that uh, in my first in the example i showed you uh, after the boom the the boom text was flashing off and on uh, to do that it's very 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 simple all you have to do let's first uh, look at just see the boom adjust the boom node so i'm just going to connect this to the geometry output and uh, right now it's just showing us boom 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 now we can still use the switch statement so if we go under uh, utilities switch and uh, maybe have this connected so right now we we can even first disconnect this one is this just so you can see that uh, we're looking at just these four nodes here so when i switch switch on it disappears when i switch off it appears so if the value is one uh it disappears uh, because we have this at uh, for true so if the value is true we want boom to appear if the value is false or off i want the boom to disappear basically that's what we want and uh, to have to create a value that go that oscillates uh between zero and one is very simple we can just use modulus or uh, the, the or use a sine wave and uh, since we have a value that is counting up uh, meaning the frame rate here uh, meaning the frame rate uh, that we're having here so let me just get that input input value frame uh, that that is a value counting up we can use the sign of that value of those values are uh, essentially creating a, uh, a sign wave that goes uh, between one and zero uh, so let's go and uh, utilities math and create a sign way a sign uh, from this and uh, we can even preview how this looks before we, uh, we use it so if i get uh, a string a value to string here just so we preview this before we actually so if i switch this out to that and uh first switch this on you can see the value is oscillating between zero and uh, negative one uh, which is going to give us a true or false value uh, that we need uh, to be able to switch on this so i'm just going to instead of doing this i'm just going to use this value and uh, it needs to be a value connected uh, to the switch so now we get that boom 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 let me get that boom boom and uh, now to make it flash slower or faster all you have to do is divide uh, this uh, value again and uh, now you can see it's much slower if you divide it by a smaller value it uh, becomes faster if we multiply it it becomes even much much faster so let's uh, uh, do a divide again uh, so that is uh, boom 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 like that and uh, now we have this geometry 
that we can feed in, into the true of this and boom everything should be good so we start from the countdown and then from zero boom 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 yeah that's it see you in the next tutorial and uh, just a, a quick plug if you let me quickly plug out my website so if you want to get a quick blender tutorials uh, you can go to blender and beyond uh, which is my new website where i post uh daily tutorials text tutorials and uh, maybe also if you watch the live streams and you want to check out the reference images even the tutorials i've made previously i'll be posting all the uh, reference images that i've been using onto this website so for example in this uh, live stream uh, you can see the final render uh, the the uh, comparison between ev and psycho render under uh, the time it took uh, the models we used and uh, yeah basically that's it uh, and uh, i also have some text tutorials if you are a beginner and you don't want to sit through a two minutes video this is a quick tutorial that explains uh, some of the basics so if and uh, with gif examples of what we are talking about so that's it uh, thank you for joining us i'll see you in the next uh, video